Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I would like to explain you how to create an application using the new app version. So it's quite user friendly. It's very different from what we are used to do in Madrid when you are when you start to create the application from scratch, all your tables and application file. So in the beginning, it will offer you a different. Um, uh, like you will have a window where you can complete information progressively in order to create all your application files so where i would like to come in the end is to have this result okay i'm going to have in my application it's not going to be an entirely an application where we'll have all the other things like business rules and stuff the entire goal here is to explain you how access control works in the meantime, I will show you as well how to load data, do a transform map and uh, from an Excel file sheet, okay, from this one. So the table that we are going to create will look like this one. So field one, field two, field three, field four, field five, have your data inside. And the main thing is to create access control in order to modify the view. So as you can see here, Fred Lully, it, will, it can see everything, but comparing to batch, you cannot see field three. This can be only done by creating an application file called access control list. In the same way here, we have a different result. Uh, Fred Lully is able to see everything, but it, batch is only able to see field three. Other fields are not visible for her. So this can be useful when you have a different type of user uh, in your organization and they have to view only few things and not every information. So how to control uh, the view, the information displayed to uh, each member, each person working in organization. So for Fred, it can be the administrator, but it's going to be our uh, user and she's not, uh, it's not necessary for her, for example, to see the field tree. Okay, let's put it in this way. So it's just an example. So now let's get started to create our application. So under system application, you have to type system application and then choose studio. It's going to open the normal page that you have that you used to have and click on create application file. Here you go. You have a new interface where you have to enter first the application name. So I'm going to put generic and it's asking you the description of your app. So it's going to be ACL. So it's not really entire app is going to do something specific. It's just to explain you how the access control works. I'm going to type ACL explanation. Okay. So now you can actually as well uh, upload some logo for your application here. So I haven't tried. I'm not going to do that now. So. Here's the cool thing. So you can actually create roles here. You used to create application file. Once you have created your application, you have to go through here, for example, create application file, find out the role, and then create the role. Here you can create directly, and we need two roles, right? We need admin role and the ESO table role, okay? The first role is going to be admin. It's fast, it's going to be created very quickly, and then user, uh, table user so this is going to be for for example the first one is going to be for Fred assigned to him the second one is going to be for Beth for example I'm going to click on continue It's asking you uh, how do you want to use it for this app which format so uh, I would like to choose the one that I have got used to the classic one and uh, now it should ask us if you want to create a table usually so it's taking it much more time than usual mm, okay great so it's asking you do you want to use an existing table or create a new table i don't want to use an existing table i want to create a new table and the table should look like this the one that we have here so i'm going to click on create new table and we have a few options you can upload a spreadsheet extend table and create table from scratch i'm going to do this one click on continue and you can add as many fields you want so i have field one field two field three field four field five so i'm going to click on here so the first one 
field one and I'm going to choose a string and okay continue and it's going to be field two string display Three display and field four it's going to be a string as well display and the last field it's going to be field five it's going to be a string as well okay and great. So I have all the fields. I'm going to click on continue. Make it extensible odd number. Table name is going to be still generic. Continue. Click on continue again. Do you want to add another table? I don't want another table. It's enough. So I'm gonna. It's done for my for the tables. I'm gonna click done with tables. Click on start. Again, it's asking us the description of your app. Uh, at this point, I haven't discovered why we have we should send enter again the same description, but I'm gonna do it as it's asking us. And ACL explanation, create, done with apps, done. So in few steps, it's created. Now what I have to do is just click on generic, which is the application that I have created. I have all the information here. So I have the uh, rules, you have the access control, you have the navigation with the generic all, create new, all these things are available. And you can see a lot of access control because we have created two different roles and for each different roles, we have the ac appropriate access control. So read and delete, write and write, create and create and so on. So for, for each individual role, okay? So the point now is to is to first now load the data we have the table but we haven't any data that we should have so let's go back here and i'm going to look for generic probably i should refresh generic and i click on all as you can see it's empty let's load the data first so i'm going to click on load data so under system import sets you have load data I click on that and I'm gonna create a new table uh, I I don't think I have the staging table already I don't have it so I'm gonna create a new table it's going to be called generic ACL okay this one just like this it, this is a table where you are loading the data from your Excel file sheet to this table exactly right this is not a table where you are directly loading the data to to the target table this is an intermediate table I'm going to choose the file this one right so select sheet number one eight other row is one okay it's fine click on submit so it's completed successfully pro processed file inserts file so that means every information that we have in our excel file sheet it was imported properly to our staging table and now we have to create what we call a map the map as the name is the definition of the name is going to map two tables like trying to find out how to uh, match uh, fields from the staging table and fields from the target table i'm going to click on transform map and uh, here i'm going to name it map 2 because i have already map 1 this is our staging table if you remember i named it generic acl so that's why this is like the name for the database and this is the name that i have given and here i'm going to I'm going to look for the target table generic and this one great so at this point we have to do one thing is auto map matching fields so we have to map 
this table to this table all the fields so let's do that okay you can see here field one to field one field five to field five it's not in the proper order field two to field two field three to field three field four to field four this is the source which is our staging table this is our target table which is this one so we have matched exactly the columns and when we are going to do the transform and select our map is actually going to take the data from our staging table and put it in our uh, target table so all we need to do is to make sure that you have map 2 here selected if you don't have it if you have it here just push it here and uh, transform click on transform it's transformation complete complete success if you want to check if this thing is properly done you can click on the import set here and it's going to give you the day the detail state complete runtime one second to total five inserts five as you can see everything that we had in our excel file sheet it went to our staging table from our staging table by running the transform app it went to our uh, target table it's done so let's check if at this point if i type generic i click all if i have everything great i have all the information that i need all the data so we can start to work on to create views so i'm going to just i don't want to see this number so i'm just going to put this thing here so it's pretty good now and it's pretty similar to the image that i have here so great so at this point we have our table now we have our role created we have the access control created but the role is not yet assigned to the appropriate people we have to assign the role that we have, we have created the role admin which is here we have created the role table user which is here okay so what you have to do is to type user and if you scroll down you will get the uh, user administration you go here and look for fred fred you will be already able to see everything but still i'm going to edit and add this role to him because he's admin so he will be he will see it and it's going to be admin for this specific application so i'm going to save it and i'm going to look for Beth here and i'm going to edit it and look for the one that I want she's going to be the user save it update great so at this point both individuals Fred and Beth should be able to see every information so let's check if that thing is working or not so I'm going to impersonate and click on Fred and type generic you can see here we have generic create all if i click on all we have everything i'm going to do the same thing again put this thing here save it perfect i have all the fields another uh good thing here you can end impersonation so it's like it's going back to system administrator and uh impersonate again to beth and check Beth if she has access yes she has also access she can see everything so i'm gonna just do the same thing put it here because i just don't like the way it is perfect so at this point we have both individuals able to see everything but what we want let's get back to our image is to make beth like for the field three she should not see that field exactly but comparing to fred she will be he will be able to see everything so how we can do that let's get back to our uh, studio and before even that i'm going to end impersonate and uh, elevate role because if you want to modify some information on the access control list you have to have the security admin role and this is like uh, there is a time running when you 
uh, elevate your role. So you have to be like work on that immediately once you have elevated your role. So right now I have security admin role and I can go back and I prefer to open again using studio the application. And here I'm going at the first point read table user and here read admin. Okay, here I'm gonna choose this one. It has already the user role here. And you can notice here we have none. This is highly important. The access control that we are creating at this point, this access control is a non access control. What is none in fact? None is going to access is going to give uh, it's going to allow to view everything all the fields for for whoever we are going to give uh for for the role that we are going to insert here so the user table user for example that you will be able to see everything and i want as well the system i mean to be able to see everything okay so that's the first thing that we are going to do so the first modification the second modification at this point we have to imagine the table is available as we saw before for everyone all the field is available for everyone using the access control none and we can now create go to the other one read here for example and make it specific create a specific field instead of having none here we can choose a field i'm going to choose for example field 3 has i have in my image here field 3 is not available for earth for bad sorry and field 3 i'm going to make it available only for the admin role for the person who has only the admin role can see that exclusively specifically so which means but we have already granted the access to see everything but the fact that we are adding here field 3 at this point and saying that uh, it's, it's going to be exclusively for admin is going to reduce the access for that because the field 3 become exclu exclusively for admin and no other person which has the role uh, different than admin can access it even though we have done before just ahead here that we have given all the granted the role for both people so it's going this one is going to be activated after that that's how it works so i'm going to keep it as admin and update it and you will be able to see actually how how the result now so at this point field 3 is specifically to admin not anyone else but admin has already all the access so it's already granted for all the fields and is again granted specifically for the field 3 which means field 3 is not available for other users users which don't have who don't have the role to, uh, admin so Beth don't have the role admin she's a table user so in such case she won't be able to see it so let's check that so I'm going back here um, at this point I'm gonna impersonate uh, Fred Liddy oh I'm typing Fred Liddy so I type generic and I click on all I have everything so perfect and I'm going to impersonate to Beth and i'm going to type generic and if i click on all as you can see here the field 3 is not here it's only exclusively for exclusively for the admin role so we have restricted the access for Beth to not to see uh, that specific field by using this uh, type of access control and you can see here the application file is quite different we have field 3 dot field 3 and read so it's it's a different naming that we have so you can you cannot be lost 
if you want to have a um, like clear view so you have a clear application file name in here so now what we are going to try is the second example the example here is going to be pretty much similar fred has access for everything but only the field tree is available to beth just the opposite field tree was not available here but every every other fields were available but here field tree will be available for her for her but not the other fields it's going to be uh, like hidden or not shown right so how we can do that is a different thing that we have to do so as we understood first in our first access control read which already given access to everything we are going to create a new uh, read access control uh, list where we are going to give again the access but let me show you i will explain you so i'm going to create the access control and for that let me impersonate the system administrator and then again elevate roll and as you can see here i have to go back because it's timed out become security admin and close this one open it again again the application right now i click on create application file type access control now uh, now i have access control if you haven't done all these steps you will not get it so i'm going to click on create great so now i'm going to choose the table that i want to use generic so it's this one and here we are going to use the star the star is pretty much similar to none but it works in a bit different way uh, as we had before field three and we have given her a specific role right and it's it's become exclusively for this role uh for the person who has that role and um, every person who don't have that role won't be able to see the field tree right that's what we have seen just before now we are going to use this one and add a role here x uh it's going to be uh for example admin i'm gonna click here and uh submit it okay great so i should have a okay i'm going to change it to read it shouldn't be create okay have it here so what's happening at this point this one is saying every field is exclusively for admin like the reference field we have field 3 exclusively for the uh, for the for the role that we had given this one is going to be exclusively for admin even though before we granted access but at the same time everyone has a different role than admin won't be able to see any field which means if Beth will won't be able to see any fail so it will be completely empty so with these roles we are like giving access to everything and taking access from from that person so before even doing that i have to deactivate this in order to show you because this one is field 3 and we are uh, we are hiding the field 3 for Beth so i'm going to deactivate it otherwise it won't work Okay, so now let's go here and check. Now at this point, if you understood properly, we have given access for Beth and uh, Fred to see everything. But with this access control, with the star, we have exclusively given access for all fields only to admin and everyone who don't have the, act, the role table user sorry the role uh, admin won't be able to see uh, all the fields which means that she doesn't have the admin role so she won't be able to see anything right so let's see here i'm going back and impersonate and uh, as usual first let's test for fred fred already is admin so he, he anyway is going to see everything so i'm going to click on all everything is here perfect 
now I'm going to impersonate and choose Beth and type generic is there available but as you can see here it's completely empty she's not able to see anything even though I click here something it's you cannot choose any field to be selected and then put in your list view so so that's the thing the fact that we have set here this access control with the star it taken everything which was accessible for her before and now what we can do we can modify a little bit this one the last one to give exclusively access to her so I can go click on this one okay so I have to do something which is like end impersonation and then elevate role and again security admin okay this one is done and I prefer to open again once more the application generic great so at this point we are going to modify a little bit the last one field 3 which is the field tree exclusively it was meant for admin but we are going to make a little change it's going to be exclusively for the table user role which is the role assigned to Beth so which is going to actually give the act have this result basically so I'm going to click here and change it and put it X and uh, table user Great, so I'm gonna update it. Great, so at this point, field three is exclusively for Beth. Okay, so I should accept, sorry, I should have this one, this result. So let's see if we are going to have this result or not. So I'm going to back to impersonate and look for Beth. So I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to just show you that Beth, sorry, Fred has everything and impersonate again to Beth and Beth should have field three. Okay. So I'm going to click generic and click on all. Don't be surprised that it has, it doesn't have anything. All you need to do is click here. Uh, you should have a three so we don't have it let's check what's going on here yes what's going on here is basically we haven't put it active we forgot so put it active security constraint so again so I have to go here back input snade system administrator elevate sorry elevate role security admin okay close this one I don't need it Again, once more, generic application. I'm gonna click on this, activate this one, update it. Boom. Perfect. Now it should be working. So I'm going back here, impersonate, uh, click on that, click on here, generic, click on all. Great. So it's already there. I haven't even set the thing. Usually you have to set, but you can see here field three is already there. This is the result that we wanted actually. So you can play with it. So if you want, basically you can create as many um, access control. If you, want, if you want, for example, field four to be available. It's the same thing basically. So I'm going back here. Let's try it. I haven't done it. Let's try it. Let's try this one. I'm going to impersonate and then going to be system administrator and elevate roles security admin okay done so I'm gonna close this one and open it again generic and uh, I'm gonna create access control here create right so it's going to be a uh, Okay, let's choose the table. Generic. Generic, generic this one. And I'm going to choose field four. And it's going to be exclusively for our user, Beth, who has this role. Click on, make sure it's active. 
the rest is perfect and I'm going to submit it it's giving me verification security rules I'm going to continue perfect I'm going to update it so I have another one and I have to make sure it should be read as well update continue so those are the things that you have to make sure each time when you are creating it's a highly important okay so now I'm going back here and look for but let's say this is the test that I'm doing just now right on the video I haven't prepared it so um, so I'm going to like to be bad here and what I'm going to do is look for generic click on all as you can see here we have field 3 field 4 so all we need to do is to understand how theoretically this access control list works it's kind of I would say tongue twister in every language that we have it like it's complicated to pronounce you know in every language you have certain certain sentence that you pronounce and it's very complicated in the beginning and it was the same for me so I have a practice a little bit you got the understanding how theoretically this thing works how it break down the view from the general to to, to the restricted one okay thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and have a good have a good day bye